Hello, everyone. Today we are going to go through the anesthesia section and we are going to highlight and I have some notes for you that are specific to the anesthesia section, not going over the anesthesia guidelines. Those will be available in a different recording. So please make sure that you like and subscribe the YouTube channel and that you check out our website, Sterling Global Solutions for our subscription membership where we have a lot of information that's available for you. First thing I wanna do um, is just explain in the anesthesia section, you'll notice that this is strictly anesthesia performed by the anesthesia team. So that's your anesthesiologist. It's gonna be your certified registered nurse anesthetist, your anesthesia assistants. These are not the codes that you would typically see your surgeons using, right? These are anesthesia specific codes there. So recognize the differences between the two. Also, they're divided out anatomically. So starting with the head, going all the way down to the tips of our feet and from the outside all the way through to the inside. So it's very important to know that as we're getting, uh, we're looking at these codes specifically. So I like to take and, and divide my codes out, especially those codes that have indentions. So for example, I'm going to make a little line here so that we can easily see the anesthesia codes that have those indentions to them, the parent codes versus the child codes there. So we can easily identify these areas. Now, I don't put a distinction between every code. You could if that's going to help you out. I just use this when we have that parent-child relationship with those codes. All right, so the next thing I'm going to go through is, is go into our um, 
highlighting our specific areas. And if you remember, we made this nice legend here to indicate what colors. Now you can use whatever colors you want. These are just the colors that spoke to me today, the day that I am marking my books. So anatomical site and location will be green. The length or the units or the degree are gonna be orange. The yellow will be the level or the time or the order. And purple will be type, whether, for example, benign or malignant, or maybe by the age of the patient. Blue will be approach, open, close, percutaneous, things like that. And then last, I have red that I'm using for my guidance, my radiological guidance, CTs, MRIs, ultrasounds, fluoroscopies. So this can be, your legend can be anything that you want it to be. Like this is not the, the way that it should be. This is the way that I do it. And I'm just sharing with you things that I do that work for me. Again, pick whatever colors you want, pick whatever topics you want. Um, again, this is just what works for me and works for me today, right? So I'm gonna take my highlighter and I'm gonna start with anatomical here. So the salivary glands. We're gonna move on to the cleft lip the eyelid, and I'm not, I'm just doing the anatomical location. I'm not doing the specific procedure or getting that into it. You could, if you wanted to, I mean, it, there's no wrong way to do this. The external, the middle and the inner ear, the eye, the nose, intraoral, very important intraoral through the mouth. So you could also write that into the side mouth. This is your reference book, whatever it speaks to you, right? The facial bones or the skull. Intracranial. The integumentary system specifically the muscles and the nerves of the head, the neck, and the posterior trunk. We get into the esophagus, the thyroid, the larynx, the trachea, the lymphatic system of the neck, the thyroid, the larynx and the trachea. And, and remember, if there's any of these terms that you're not comfortable with, you can add them to that section in the front of your book that has all of those anatomical terms to it. You can add it here. Great place to remember anatomical terms. Major vessels of the neck. Then we're gonna move into the, again, the integumentary system, but this is for the, the extremities, the anterior trunk and the per perineum. This is the breast. We're still on the breast and we're still on the breast. The clavicle and the scapula, the clavicle, the rib, the esophagus, the chest. Now I am going to use my blue to make a note that these are closed procedures of the chest, right? Now we are gonna go back with some colors where, wherever we see that we need to, to specify, but that was one I just saw off the top of my head. I wanna make sure that I, I address it. And then they talk about the approach. Remember the approach is in blue. So this is via an anterior thoracic approach.
Now, a couple of things, you'll notice that these codes are based on children. So I'm gonna use my color for my age. This is for younger than one year of age, very specific. This is the lower abdomen. But again, these are for infants younger than 37 weeks, gestational age at birth, and younger than 50 weeks gestational age at the time of surgery. Okay, so very specific there. Now I'm gonna just go over again and make sure that I didn't miss any of my approaches. All right, endoscopic. All right, watch those endoscopic procedures as well. That's another uh, um, approach.
Okay, so now that we've kind of gone through here and we've looked at, uh, we've, we've highlighted those anatomical areas, we've highlighted the age, and we've also uh, highlighted some of the approaches for the anesthesia procedures. There's just a few more little notes that I like to add. The first one is at 00120. And these codes, these procedures are gonna be procedures, uh, they're ear implant devices. And don't forget that your tamponotomy also is the same code that you would use for your myringotomy. Now we did indicate here that this is intraoral, so it's gonna be through the mouth. <clears throat> so whether you say mouth or through the mouth, that's okay. Either way works fine, as long as you realize that these are procedures done through the mouth. Um, usually we see our tonsillectomies and our adenoidectomies. So you may want to add an example of that. So maybe tonsil, tonsillectomy, right? So remember that, that when we're dealing with procedures of the extremities, this is also going to include your shoulders. that our 00402 code also includes an implant insertion. Your intrathoracics, these are gonna be your heart surgeries. will also include lobectomies. So any of those cardiothoracics, intrathoracic surgeries there. Remember that sometimes you'll see your radio frequency ablations reported as RFA. So that's also a good little acronym to keep an eye out. And our 00566 are our coronary artery bypass grafts, our cabbages. And that when we're putting in a pump oxygenator, we're actually doing that bypass. A couple of other notes here for the spinal cord. Your 00600 would also be your discectomy. Your 00620 is also a discectomy. That's the cervical, this is the thoracic. The upper gastrointestinal endoscopies can also be referred to sometimes as an EG, um, an EGO. Zero zero seven nine zero include your cholecystectomies. Your gallbladder removals could also be the spleen, could also be the liver. So keep an eye out for those. Um, the 00800, the procedure on the lower interior abdominal wall could be the peritoneal area. Your kidneys or intravertebral. I don't know if I have enough room here. I'm going to try to squeeze it in. Maybe this way. Wish me luck. Mm 
introvert. I don't know. I'm probably, I'll remember that, but intravertebral there. Your anesthesia for lower intestinal endoscopies. These are not the screenings, but they are your colonoscopies, your sigmoidoscopies. Right. Remember your screening colonoscopies have their own code here. Um, when we're looking at the 00831, we can also, this is a procedure that also can be done uh, umbilical. The 00862 are our usual kidney transplants. On the next page, um, your 01214 is gonna be your total hip replacement. The 01270, these are your FEMPOP bypasses. So hard to write over there in that little tiny squishy space there. 01400, your uh, MCL, your PCL, and your ACL ligaments. 01402 is your total knee replacement. My husband had his a few years ago, still going strong. 01464. Don't forget that this is a scope, your arthroscopic procedure. And your 01638, remember this is an open procedure. This is your total shoulder replacement code. The 01810 could be also could include also the carpal tunnel. It could also be an ORIF. Same for your 01830, could be of the carpal tunnel. That's anatomical. And your ORIF, open reduction internal fixation. All right, those are the last of the notes that I have for the anesthesia section. I hope you found that very helpful. Again, remember guys that these are my notes. These are the notes that speak to me that you, they may not speak to you. You only want to make sure that you understand the information that you're adding to this section. If you enjoyed this information, please make sure you like and subscribe our YouTube channel that you also check out our website, Sterling Global Solutions and subscribe to our membership. Uh, there's a lot of information that's available to our members that you might find very handy and helpful. All the links are below. Thanks for watching.